In our previous lecture, we discussed about what is linear motion, what is rest, what is motion, and various kinds of motion. Here, we will learn some terms of linear motion. So, in our previous lecture, we know what is vector, what is vector, and what is scalar. So, we need these two information to understand these terms. So, first terms we will discuss is distance. So, what is distance? The total length of the path of a moving body travels at a particular time is called distance. Suppose here A is a point. So, a person go A to B and it cover 25 meter. B to C it cover 4 meter. C to D it cover 2 20 meter d to e it cover 7 meter and e to f it cover 3 meter so total length of the path is 25 plus 4 plus 20 plus 7 plus 3 which is equals to this is 10 10 and 20 30 30 to 20 so 45 45 plus 4 equals to 49 uh, sorry it will be 59 not 49 it will be 59 meter so this is that this is called distance and it is a scalar quantity distance is a scalar quantity okay so now coming to the next one is displacement what is displacement Displacement is a vector whose magnitude is equal to the minimum distance between the initial and final position of the path of the motion of the object and its direction along the initial to final. So, here our initial point is A and our final point is F. So, if I want to calculate this A to F path, so suppose we get this A to F path is 70 70 meter we found this suppose uh, uh, the a to f, the distance between a to f is 70 meter so this is the initial point and this is the final point so for displacement is displa is displacement is equal to 17 meter whereas its its distance is 59 meter while its displacement is 17 meter so displacement is a vector quantity because we we found a direction between initial to final position so the direction is initial to final so this is a vector quantity uh, taken another example so that we understand this displacement and this distance quite easily suppose it is a track suppose it is a track the circumstances of this track is 40 meter the circumstances of this track is 40 meter suppose a person go to uh, a person running to this track and coming to this point a coming to this point a uh, after 3 sec uh, after 30 seconds so what is the displacement and the distance between uh, or uh, distance of this person here a person go through this whole uh, whole uh, track and coming to there and the circumference of this track is 40 meters so it is distance the distance the person is travel is 40 meters so the distance is 40 meter but there the initial and the final position are same for this person a for this person a so the displacement is 0 meter the displacement is 0 meter i hope we understand what is distance and what is displacement now the sec now the second topic will be speed so speed says that the distance travel in unit of time by an object is called speed suppose a a body is moving a to b and it travel s meter it travel s meter at t second so speed says that the speed of this 
moving particle is suppose this is a particle so the speed of this moving particle is the total distance so the distance is s meter and the total time given to uh, total time taken from go to a to b so it is t second and the unit of speed is meter per second meter per second and the dimension of this speed is l t inverse one so this is the unit and this is the dimensions so we learn what is uh, we learn about what is speed and the equation of speed is total distance divided by total time so uh, here we will learn uh, we the here there are uh, two many uh, two three terms in speed one is average speed one is average speed so what is average speed average speed sta states that the total distance or total distance traveled by a body by the time taken for the travel is called average speed like a move body moving from a to b b to c c to d d to e and here we found the total so total distance traveled by this particle p is a to b b to c c to d d to e so we if we calculate this thing we will found like some s meter and the total time so total time from here to there how much time it takes so by that we will get the average speed by that we will get the average speed and the other one is instantaneous speed is instantaneous speed so what is instantaneous speed it says it if the time interval approaches zero, the rate of change of distance with the time is called the instantaneous speed or speed. So it says that suppose you are driving a car, you are driving, you are driving a car, and you see the speedometer, and to to know what is the well, uh, what is the speed of your car? So you you driving a car, and after some time you see the what is the speed of your car, and when you see the time taken for you to see the uh, what is what should I say to so see the speed, it approaches to zero. Like it will be zero point zero two second or zero point zero zero one second, something like that. To see this uh, speed, so this is time is this this can be it approaches to zero. It can be said that it's zero second. Not actually it's not zero second. It will it, the time is uh, very small, and at that time you see the speed. So this is known as instantaneous speed. So this is all about speed, and uh, there are two three more terms in speed. Uh, uh, one is like uniform speed. Uniform speed. Of. So, what is uniform speed? When, uh, if the value of the speed remains constant at all times, then it's called uniform speed. Like the speed doesn't change over time, so it is known as uniform speed. And other one is variable or non-uniform speed. You can say that variable or non-uniform speed so what is this speed it's change over time the speed is change over time it doesn't remain same all the time so this is known as uniform speed so the third one is velocity it's similar to the speed but we know the direction of the moving object like a car is moving at 30 meter per second so this information is our speed information but if we say that the uh, car is moving at right at 30 meter per second then the whole information is known as velocity so this is an vector quantity this is an vector quantity so Velocity is same to the speed, but there is an extra piece of information that is our direction. In the speed case, there is no direction, so speed is a speed is a scalar quantity.
uh, scalar quantity so now remove this thing another thing we we should learn the unit of this speed is unit of this speed is also unit uh, first of all we, we will learn to formula so formula is v v divided by s by t this is the distance this is the time as it is vector quantity so we will give an error to represent that it is a vector quantity and the unit of the velocity is meter per second and the dimension of velocity is l t inverse 1 this is important for our mcq questions okay in velocity there are some terms like one is average velocity the second one is instantaneous velocity the third one is uniform velocity and the fourth one is video and uh, this is actually similar to the this is also actually similar to the speed but there is an extra piece of information we know that this is a vector quantity uh, we know the direction of this uh, velocity so nothing uh, differ from the speed in the in the definition case but if there is an extra piece of information what is that is our direction now coming to the uh, last one is the acceleration the rate of change of velocity with time is called acceleration so if a body is moving from a to b this velocity is 2 meter 2 meter per second and when you go b to c its speed become 4 meter per second when it goes c to d it become 6 meter per second when it go d to e it's become 8 meter per second so here the rate of change of velocity over time we found that so this is known as acceleration so this is known as acceleration so if we want to get a formula of acceleration is equals to v by t v means the rate of change of velocity or we should say del v by del t rate of change of velocity divided by time divided by time so we, we know the formula is equals to a equals to del v by del t uh, here is also some information of acceleration uh, one is instant instantaneous information instantaneous instant Nias acceleration. The second one is uh, average acceleration. Average. The third one is uniform acceleration. And the fourth one is the fourth one is variable. So, at that case, every time the speed is rising from two meter per second. So this is known as uniform acceleration if uh, it become like 3 it become like 5 it become like 9 the speed isn't increasing uniformly so this is known as variable acceleration and the other two is also same instantaneous and average is also uh, same like instantaneous acceleration is when we at the when the time interval is approaches to zero then the acceleration we get is instantaneous acceleration and average acceleration is uh, the total velocity divided by total time taken to the rate of change of velocity is then known as average acceleration so this is some term we know we should know uh, in further to learn better about linear motions and the terms of linear motions are very important to solve math problems so you should learn to be you should learn this uh, uh, these terms so that we can we can do better in our math problem or in the theoretical problem also so that's all for today's video in our next lecture we'll get some equations of linear motion and we'll talk about this kind of uh, this uh, whole of this inform uh, all of these equations to solve how can we solve a math problem so that's all for today's video do subscribe to our channel and like this video thank you